Hi guys, today I want to show you how to install PrintL. PrintL is a VPN service that is based on the OpenVPN protocol. So, first of all, we do an update, upgrade, and up, get update and up, get upgrade to make sure that everything is up to date. Now we go to this side. This is also in the description and choose the right um, repository for your system. Here I have a Debian chassis, so you have to choose the right one. And then we create a new file with nano install.sh, paste that, save it, and then we gave the, this file admin rights and we can start the installation with dot slash and the name of the of the file now everything will be installed so now the installation is successfully now we have to set some um yeah limits after that we can go to the address of the server so here i set up a subdomain um you can also do it with the ip address okay sorry that is um german so okay enter setup key we have to run this com command copy that paste it here now we get the setup key we enter it here and save it. So now the database will be set it up. Upgrading database, this can take several minutes. Okay. Now we have to add a second time this. With Brit Anal, Brit Anal, we can log in. Okay, now this is the initial setup, but we can set up the set up it later. And now we are here. So first of all, we have to add an organization. I name it tutorial, and add a user, for example, energy fossil and add it. It's also possible to add a bulk of users. We can paste um, the names and also set up an email address, but we don't have to do it. And now we can add it. Okay, so now we have eight users. And the next step is to create a server. Add server name. Tutorial VPN. I can click on advanced and here we can set up um, some additional things. Allow multiple devices um, so that one user can connect with, for example, five devices. And if we want another encryption or another algorit hash algorithm and yeah, max clients. Yeah, you can set everything that you want. Now we add this and the server can't be started without an attached organization. So now we attach the organization and we can start the server. Okay, the server is started. And now we go to users, click get temporary, we can copy that, open our printanal client. These two things shouldn't be here at your um, client. Paste that, click on import. The problem is here, okay, fail to load because it is a self-signed um, certificate. So we have to go to this link download the profile, 
save it. And now we can import it here at import file, import profile, add it and we can see, okay, we are disconnected and when we are connect, then it depends on how fast um, the server is accepting the connection. Okay, now we are online. If we go here, we see, okay, we are online. And if we see that here, what's my IP? Now I got an 82 IP address. If I disconnect from here and refresh this side, I've got a 91 IP address. So, and if we refresh this side, refresh it. Okay, maybe it's a little bit buggy, but normal, normally um, it should say that you're offline. Okay, so at the settings, you can also change the web console port because um, normally it's 443, so the HTTPS um, port. And if it's on this, you can um, don't run any other um, HTTPS side on it. Um, so it is advisable to change that. And yeah, you can enter a new password or public um, IP um, v6 address, but um, I can't enter uh, IP v6 address because it's so I don't set up an IP v6 address, and yeah, you can save it and everything is checked. So I hope you know how to install Brit Anal now. And if you liked the video, let the thumb up and thanks for watching. Bye.